how many wealthy Israelites do you know right now? Who's living a comfortable life? Who could who could educate their children without with 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 without any school loans? Or you could buy a house built from the ground in eighty one and paid off in eighty eight, built from the ground. And have you have you have you now sitting in an apartment and still have your house in Philadelphia? How many black people do you know? How many Israelite? How many Israelites do you have there doing that and able to help pay? and still help pay and help take over big expenses and pay Cisco. people to tell cell phone bills and, and do a lot. I got, I got a scripture for you, sis. I got a scripture for you. Okay. okay? I'm, I got the answer right here. Deuteronomy right. 28 and 29. All right. Because like I said, sis, you got to get out of that. Uh, what you thought you knew or you know from society, you got to get rid of it. I didn't, I didn't get this from society. Listen, I didn't get this, let, me, let me explain. Society, most let of me, the society doesn't do what I do. Let me explain. Let and me explain. most of the Christians don't do what I do. People who call themselves Christians don't do what I do. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. Meaning, our people were not brought here to prosper. We were brought what? here. You got to be kidding. Can I finish this? Can I finish? Let me Go finish. Ahead. We were brought here <laughs> as, cha- as slaves. I will fall. Oh, 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 right, right. Can I, listen, let me finish. Okay. We were brought here for slavery, for hard bondage. Oh, right. Oh, that, that's right. That's right. Can, they were. Can you just hold on? Just I, All I need you to do is listen, sis. Okay. We were brought here for hard bondage, slavery, and it was by the hand of God that these people came against us. You understand? Meaning it was God's will that we were made slaves. And that's in the Bible. You understand? So we were not here to prosper. We were here to get a buck with him, repent and go home. But we have not repented yet. We've done white Jesus and Christianity and Islam and things of that nature. Pan-African. We have not came back to God's laws yet under under Christ, meaning repentance under Christ. You understand? So that's why the scripture says we're not going to prosper here. And we're going to read it right now. Okay. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. You know what it means and to grope at noonday? Meaning it's fully light outside. It's the, it's the brightest of the sun at noon. But you outside like you're blind. That's us looking in different religions, different philosophies, uh, uh, different ways to get out of the situation we, we are collectively in. Go ahead. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. What did the Bible say? Okay. Well, <laughs> what did he say? And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. See that says the prophecy okay. is that we will not prosper in our way. Everybody all everybody has an economic solution. That's the only solution is to g- give us money, money, money. No, we don't want your money. We want our we want salvation and we want our real biblical reparations. Keep reading. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. See, and, and, and no man shall save thee. The scripture, the prophecy is, sister, that we're going to be oppressed and spoiled here in America. Are we oppressed and spoiled? You better believe it. And no man is going to save us. And we had uh, uh, some great men try to save us. We had uh, um, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King. We had sisters like Sojourner Truth and so forth and so on. But let's be honest, sister. They all failed because we're still in. We're, we're actually worse off today than we was back when you was a child. You understand? So that that's why if you're asking us, where's the money for this and this one could buy this and this house or whatever, it's null and void because of what the scriptures say. We have to come back and turn back to the scriptures. Sis. You understand? Well, I, the, the scripture that I go to. In the in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy eight eighteen, where he says, Go ahead, "Read it, read it, read it." But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. I'll, I'll read it for you, sis. I'll read it. For read, you. Read, read, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter eight, verse eighteen. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is He that giveth thee power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. That's a nice scripture, sis. What mm-hmm. about it? What about it? 
and that's 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 one I use a lot. Why? Because when I see the gifts and talents of the people, power means to give you a gift for business. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Let, let, let's read it again, Ibuka. Let's read the top of that scripture one more time. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. I heard the stipulation, and that stipulation, sis, was right there. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Do our people know God? No, they know Christianity, sister. You understand? They know white Jesus. They know the Lutheran okay, church. But, 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 but you know, know what? God. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes, ma'am. You go, you go, you keep going there, and you keep doing that, and and just 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 keep producing that. You keep growing that, and keep growing that, and keep growing that, and 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 watch what happens watch what happens but saying does that bother you i mean you huh? him crow him no cuz he gave me luke 418 and and i said not me i'm not going to i'm not i'm not going to luke 418 that gave me the power and ability to uh, he he gave me not that but he 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 luke 418 says about preach the gospel to the poor no that poor that and it also is in Isaiah 61. That's that's poor spiritually, not poor okay. financially. Okay. Well, well let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When he put that in my spirit, I was in my bed at six o'clock in the morning and I slammed the Bible in his face <laughs> in the sense. He said, Not me, I'm not speaking to anybody. I'm not doing this with anybody. But he's put me in a position, and then years later, when somebody asks me, because I haven't tried to be a preacher or anything, and end up being forced after I was age 70 to start speaking on financial prosperity, helping people come out of debt, praying for their businesses. And the, and the people were much happier they were not slaves to the lender. They didn't have all these credit cards and, and, and knowing everybody. Able to able to graduate all your kids from college without any with only one semester school loan. Paying for a house. You're much happier. You're much at peace. And you can give to the poor. You can send to other people. Just like my daughter's telling me now, Mom, you can't give to everybody. At 89, at 89 years old, and I'm not in a nursing home. So you can be Israelite all you want. You can be Israelite all you want. But how happy are your children? How happy are you going to leave yes, them in your yes. children's children? Very happy. Then, then, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What <laughs> good? Uh, let's get the scripture who said, uh, then you lose your soul. You get anything in this world, then you lose your soul. How good I'm it? not losing my soul. You are? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The verse. You're thinking it's all about money, this system. You better gain your uh -uh. soul before you think about money. Go ahead. Matthew 19, 26. Why do you think our kids are robbing people and stealing? Sis, sis, sis. Let the word come out, please. Thank you. 